Hi everyone, Amy Love here and welcome to our fourth annual YouTube birthday hop for Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etty. Congratulations Kim on four years of your beautiful story. You know how much I love it and you. So congratulations. Happy birthday to Angel Dream Craft Kim on Etty and welcome everybody to the hop. So here is the card with Kim's information. And of course you can find a link to Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy below in my description box. And you also find the links to all the other designers and where you need to hop along to. So you're gonna hop along to all the other designers plus Kim's channel also, cause Kim is making something, uh, making a video for the giveaway. And she is giving away a main prize, which will be a bag that she made herself full of laces and goodies which you don't want to miss out on. If you saw the clutch swap that I did, the bags she makes are absolutely beautiful. So what we all decided to do was to do an upcycle project. And I happen to have a, just a ton of these match boxes in my stash and an abundance of corks. When I was digging through, I have like a big pile of stuff that I keep to alter and it's basically full of jars, corks and match boxes. So I went with the match boxes. I thought it'd be cute to make a couple of uh, gift boxes. So that's what I did. And that's pretty. So for this one, it's really simple. So I'm gonna share this one with you first. Uh, I covered the match box in some paper that was in my scrap bin. And then I wrapped the match box in this beautiful lace from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. I think it was in my June design team package isn't it beautiful i mean i just love like the texture of it it's so so cute so i surrounded the uh, matchbox with that and then i just popped on this beautiful flower bead dangle it's one of my favorite pieces i love it and i just thought it was just so simple and cute and now it's just an adorable little gift box right it's so sweet so that was the first one I did and then I made this one and I wrapped it in uh, more paper for my scrap bin. I decided to dig into that scrap bin because it's getting a little out of hand. So I covered it in paper and then I popped on this little snippet from uh, a trim, an edging lace from Angel Dream Crafts and I don't have it here in front of me unfortunately to, to share what the whole thing looks like but this piece in the background actually came off of this lace that I used for my June design team package and then I put a little snippet off of one of her pink laces right there and then I added some of her gorgeous ribbon roses that I just love and then I added some stamens uh, from my stash so it's just sweet it's just a sweet little gift box it's so cute I forgot to cover the edges on this one but I'll fix that it's adorable and then I created this one so I wrapped it in paper and then I glued on some of the beautiful uh, pink rhinestone trim from Angel Dream Crafts so she does have rhinestone trim in a few different colors and on this one I used the pink one and then I used this sweet little uh, oval applique that I got from Kim's shop a while back. And then one of her oval cabochons uh, with these beautiful flowers in it. She has an amazing selection of cabochons and I love them. So I used that one here and then I popped on uh, one of her bows because everything's better with a bow and I just love her bows. I'd rather buy bows than make them myself and that is the truth. So I was very thankful that she had some. So there are these three adorable little gift boxes. And then I happen to have one large matchbox. I wish I had more, but I only had the one. And so I decided to alter it too. So I did the same thing. I wrapped it in some scrap paper. And then along the side, I put this beautiful trim, which I don't have a lot of it left because I've been using it like crazy. Um, this, is that right side? can't tell yes this way um, this beautiful edging trim from angel dream crafts I put that on the sides and then in the background is another a strip of this I laid down in the back and then this is from the other lace that I snippety snipped because it's such a good snippety snip lace and then up here I gathered up some of the 
<clears throat> beautiful polka dot uh, white tool that I love. So I only use a small piece because, you know, I'm trying to use it very sparingly because I love it so much. But it does look so cute up here coming up uh, from behind these flowers. And these are beautiful flowers from Kim's shop. I love her flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I am just right now obsessed with the square cabochons in the shop. So I use this flower one right there. And then I put on another one of her cute little bows. Isn't that so cute? And then I popped on one of these beautiful enameled butterfly charms from the shop on a bulb pin from the shop. So I just think they're so cute. I am obsessed with uh, enamel charms right now. I just love them so much. So for this one, I of course lined the inside with fabric. I know that comes as no surprise <laughs> for those of you who have been here a for a while. You know how much I love to line the things with fabric. So I put this cute little fabric inside and then I trimmed it off with this uh, really pretty uh, Chinese braid from Kim's store. I just think it's so pretty and it gives such a nice finishing touch right? and it's just it's cute it's so super cute I love it so um, there is the main giveaway over um, on Kim's channel and then some of us will be doing giveaways as well and I am gonna do a giveaway so for my giveaway I am gonna give away this really pretty gift box full of beautiful goodies so I am excited about it and I decided I wanted to give away two prizes. So I'm going to give away this full of goodies and then I'm going to give away one of these cute little um, gift boxes with a sweet little uh, gift inside. And uh, my giveaway is open to U.S. and international. And all you have to do is leave a comment below. So I'm going to draw my prize winner a week from today. I will draw the uh, the prize winner. So you have a week to comment below and you have to comment on the other designers too. So make sure you do the hop and you hop along. Uh, all the links are below and uh, be sure to leave a comment on Kim's video too. And I believe that she's gonna check and make sure that you have commented on all of the uh, videos when she draws her winner. So thank you all for being here and good luck to you all. And don't forget to follow a link to the store to get yourself some gorgeousness to play with. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.